Ingin rasanya saya membahas kembali koin Pi? Menurut analisa saya pribadi, Pi Network adalah proyek nyata. Hanya saja untuk harga GCV, saya rasa tidak mungkin, mengingat. Harga token Verisite yang cukup mahal. Tapi andai harga itu terwujud ya kita bersyukur saja. Selamat datang kembali di channel BTTRLF. Jangan lupa subscribe agar kalian tidak ketinggalan informasi menarik dari channel ini. Terima kasih, tetap semangat Sobat Better Lovers. Kalaupun tidak, bagi saya asal ada harganya, dan sepadan penantian kita selama ini ya. Oke kita syukuri bareng-bareng. Pi Network adalah proyek nyata, yang dari awal keinginan foundernya Mr. Kokalis. Yaitu membuat kripto yang bisa diakses semua orang sudah terwujud. Dan saya rasa dalam sejarah kripto belum ada kripto maupun token yang di masa proyeknya sudah dibicarakan banyak orang, entah itu pembicaraan negatif atau positif. Berikut cuplikan video dari Nyonya Cheng Diaofan, selaku founder dari Pi Network, simak sampai habis. As we are getting closer to March 14th, so this is a message to the general public. After watching this video, we will explain further. Please listen to this attentively. Seeing applications to be listed on the platform. To avoid a wild west situation where unchecked individuals taking advantage of fellow pioneers, the selection of the apps will involve community vetting and peer reviews to try to achieve relevance, quality, and trustworthiness. The application process for third-party developers is expected to open by the end of quarter two. The in-app transfer pilot proved the need for apps platform that allows safe and efficient transactions using Pi and reduces abuses. The findings of the pilot mean that we will have to slow down the enrollment into the in-app transfer pilot until more apps are added to the platform that scale transactions of real goods and services and when we design safeguards needed to prevent further abuses. While we will be slowing down the enrollment in the in-app transfer pilot, we will expand KYC after Pi Day. As KYC will still be necessary to participate in other Pi programs. Being KYC will no longer automatically enable in-app transfers, but will increase Pioneer's probability of being selected to the in-app transfer pilot later as more apps are added to the platform. And welcome to our first Midpoint Hackathon Showcase. We've received a variety of Midpoint progress videos, and we are excited today to showcase a few that display our community's potential and the excitement in building the Pi Networks ecosystem. However, note that these projects are not fully developed yet, and their selection does not affect their chances of winning. First up, we have Pi Workforce a platform designed to connect freelance workers with employers throughout the Pi ecosystem. Next is WePi, a project aiming to create a decentralized social media platform fueled by the Pi blockchain. Third is Diners, a hub where pioneers all across the world can exchange cultural knowledge and tutorials about food with a potential future marketplace. And finally, Pi Barter Mall is a large online marketplace where pioneers can buy goods and products with Pi. Thanks everyone for your efforts and contributions to the Pi Hackathon. Again, winners have not been selected yet, so developers should continue honing their products until it's time for the final submissions. See you all next week for the second part of our hackathon showcase. So now let's explain what the PI core team talks about in the video. Pioneers seeking employment will be able to work and be paid in PI coin anywhere around the world. You may learn what jobs pay with PI. For example, Mary By the way, Santer terdengar kalau tanggal 28 Juni tahun 2023 akan open mainnet. Bagaimana pendapat kalian, bos? Ketik di kolom komentar. Terima kasih sudah menonton. Jangan lupa like dan share. Jangan lupa juga subscribe agar kami bisa menginformasikan hal-hal menarik seputar P-Network.